Let's take a look at how to add new users to ProCare, then assign them to a group so they're allowed to perform specific tasks. We'll go to the Configuration menu and choose System Settings, and here under Locations and Users, we'll double-click on ProCare Users. I've got two set up already. One is the sysadmin account that came with ProCare. Then I've added myself as a user. Uh, I'm the owner, and I have assigned myself to the system supervisor user group. It's the highest group and it has unrestricted access to the system. But I want to add some staff members here and assign them to a lower group uh, so that I can control what they're able to do. To do so, I'm going to add a new user clicking this button down here. I'm going to move the screen up a little bit though so that you can see what happens when, the, uh, when I click this drop down arrow. I've got some more choices. I'm going to add this person as a brand new person who's not yet in ProCare. I might use existing person if they were a staff member that I had already entered in the employee data module, then I could look them up and ProCare would recognize they were the same person. But this person I'm added is brand new. I haven't put them anywhere in ProCare yet. And then I'll move the screen down a bit now so you can see what's going on here. So here I'm going to add the basic information for this person. Uh, this, her last name is Smith and first name Martha. And I'm actually going to skip the rest of this information like date of birth and uh, so on. You could always come back and fill that in later. I'm going to click continue and that adds her to my list of ProCare users. So there you can see I have Smith, Martha. And then I want to give her a title. Uh, she's an office uh, assistant. And for her username, I could just use her initials. That's an easy way to do it. So let's say MJS. And then for her identifier, the identifier is used to track things that she does in ProCare. So when she logs in or logs out, when she records a payment to a family or maybe makes a change to a child's time card, all those kinds of things get marked with the identifier. I could keep it simple, though, and just leave that the same as her initials. And then I need to assign her to a user group. I don't want to make her system supervisor because I don't want her to have unrestricted access to the system. I've actually created uh, a group here specifically for office assistant level people. I'm going to pick that one. And now uh, I simply click Save down at the bottom and she has been added to my list. Now there's one other thing I need to do. Anyone who's below the system supervisor level, you just click once on their name to make sure they're they are selected. And then I'm going to move the screen up a little bit again. There's a button down here called Expose. This is used to give the person access to certain locations in ProCare. I'll click the drop down arrow on the side of the button. If I just had one location, I would choose Expose to All. If I have multiple locations, I might choose to set the individual exposure and then I could check off the locations I wanted this person to have access to. I happen to just have one location right now, so I'm going to say expose to all, say OK, and we'll move that screen back down so you can see it. And now the next time uh, Martha logs in, or at least the very first time she logs in, she'll use her username of MJS, and that will also be her password the very first time, and then it will immediately prompt her to select a password that only she will know. And that's all there is to adding a user and assigning them to a group.